Hey, Levate. Uh, this is Andrew, and I'm here with Dave. Uh, we have some news that I want to share with you, and uh, a lot of it's kind of personal to me. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, I've been serving at North Fayette Elevate for the past year as the preaching coordinator. Um, so I've been doing a lot of the teaching and serving there. Um, but recently, I um, got accepted to seminary, which is, for those of you who don't know, it's basically um, graduate school for people who want to go into ministry full time. And that's um, kind of the call that God has placed on my life. That's um, what I know that he wants me to do. And I'm really excited for that. So that's going to start in the fall. Um, but that also means that um, there's some more news. There, uh, there's a continuation of that, which is that unfortunately, um, I'll have to take a step back from Elevate in the fall to uh, continue these studies. I want to um, do it full time just so I can get through it as quickly as possible and begin serving um, and doing ministry full time in the uh, time that God wants me to. So, um, so that's my plan. And it wasn't an easy decision. Um, it took a lot of prayer, um, a lot of discernment, a lot of just sitting and listening to God. Um, but I really feel like this is um, what he has placed on my heart. This is what he's calling me to. Um, I've always felt kind of a call towards um, adult ministry and leading a church maybe sometime in the future. And I know that um, this is kind of just a step in that direction. Um, so I'm excited, but I'm also really sad that, that I'm going to be um, leaving Elevate. And it doesn't mean that you'll never see me again. I hope to be back around and maybe volunteer here and there and maybe speak a couple of times. Um, so you'll still see my face and I'll also still be on staff at Crossroads um, working at the Weirton campus. Um, so, so I'll still be doing that. You'll still see me around, um, maybe worshiping or working or volunteering. Um, but in terms of being on staff at Elevate, um, that time has, has come to an end. So, um, but I'm really excited for where Elevate is going. Um, I know that God has amazing plans uh, in store for Elevate. I know that this is kind of a, a new beginning. The past year maybe hasn't looked um, you know, typical or as any of you have, uh, have expected it to look, um, but I know that this is kind of a new beginning. It's a new transition for the ministry for Elevate, and I know that, that God's going to use it and bless it, and um, he's really going to do some amazing things with Elevate in the future. So um, so for all of you, um, you should be excited. You should be excited for God's taking this ministry because uh, it's really cool and, and um, God's going to be working and speaking through it. Um, so I'm excited for all, for all of you um, and I'll be certainly praying for um, you all in the coming year. Yeah, and we just want to say thank you so much, Andrew, for all you've done over, over your time in Elevate and how you poured in. I know when you and I sat down when I first got here, uh, we talked about where you felt God was calling you and you shared your heart and you definitely have gifting towards that. So it's exciting to see you taking those next steps uh, towards pursuing your call towards obedience, uh, which we just talked about that recently here, right? With the GLOW acronym that we're getting alone with God, we're listening and we're obeying and you're taking that step of obedience. And so we're excited for that. And I want to encourage all of you to take the opportunity to reach out to Andrew and just show him some love and encouragement during this time as he takes this next big step in faith and in his walk and in his journey. Um, and let's pray for him. Father God, I thank you for Andrew and the calling you've placed on his life and the gifting you've clearly given him to be a leader in your church. Uh, I pray, Father God, that you would continue to develop him and surround him with people to pour into him. I pray this time in seminary is a great opportunity to grow and to learn and to be challenged, um, to, to experience new things and to explore new giftings and new ways to use the gifts that he has, Lord God, to, to continue to be developed. Um, I pray for his transition into that with the fall and everything that's going on, I just pray that that would be smooth, that you would take care of all the details with that. Uh, I thank you that he's able to still serve with our Weirden campus. I pray that you would bless his time there and help to develop him in that role. And Father God, we just thank you so much for your leading, that when we ask for your guidance, when we seek you, you lead us, Father God, and we have an opportunity to obey. And so we thank you that Andrew is being obedient to the call you have placed on his life, that he's pursuing that next. I pray, Father, that we would look to that example for our own lives and see where we can be obeying you. And we just thank you so much. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
All right. Thanks, everybody. Once again, I encourage you to find some opportunity to connect with Andrew. Uh, obviously, he's still going to be around Crossroads, so he's not disappearing. Uh, but shoot him a text, shoot him an email, send him a message, tweet, whatever. Um, just thank him for his time and encourage him with what's next. So we'll see you all later.